Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to understand how to execute a single test script in multiple browsers using Tosca Automation tool. Now this is an important question from interview perspective as well. So we all know that if I want to execute a certain test script into a certain browser, I need to mention those details in the test configuration section. And how do we do that in case we don't know? We just right click and we add a test configuration parameter here okay now post adding test configuration parameter we search for browser or we click on the drop down and select it now all the browsers are going to be by default listed in the value section but let's say i have selected chrome what would happen is all my test steps are going to get executed in chrome but our task here is to execute it into different steps into different browsers okay so let's see how we'll do that so First and foremost, we'll take some website to launch so that uh, uh, just the website launching is what we are going to do. Okay, so I'll just fetch in the open URL standard module and let me pick up any URL, maybe my YouTube channel link. So I'll copy this, I'll close this from here and I'll put the URL here okay I'll make two steps out of it just so that one I'll be launching in uh, Chrome and one I can launch in Edge browser okay so I'll copy this and I'll put it here and I'll rename this to launch in Edge okay now how we can manipulate the browser is we are going to create a buffer and that buffer we are going to pass in the test configuration section now obviously that buffer needs to come before the test step so that that particular browser is going to come into effect so i'll just import the standard module uh, t box set buffer so i can just search for set buffer and again i'll make two copies of this First, I'll pull this to the top and I'll say that uh, browser as Chrome. Okay. And the second one, I'll say browser as Edge. And I'll move this before the second step. Now, any buffer name we can use here, uh, browser or whatever. So let's take just B R O W just to explain that we can take any name here okay so i will use the same buffer name here okay and let's say the first test step we want in chrome so i'll mention chrome here okay and here i'll mention edge and similarly if you want to launch in other browsers uh, feel free to update the name as per your needs now this is the buffer name which we need to pass in the test configuration so all we'll do is we'll remove this and we'll manually write it. So I'll write curly brackets, capital B, square brackets, B R O W. I'll close this and I'll close this. Okay. A buffer is set. Now what will happen is first buffer is going to fetch the value, then it is going to the test configuration, then it is going to execute your step. Again, your buffer is going to get updated and it is going to get passed to test configuration and then your next step is going to get executed. Now let's see if this actually works or not. So I don't have any browser open here and let me try to run this and we'll see if this works or not. So our Chrome is launched. Now our Edge is launched as well. Now this is a by default uh, browser page which is getting launched because I have not used uh, Edge for some time. So let me close this. But you see, this has been launched in Edge as well as it has launched in Chrome. Now, obviously, uh, uh, this load, it is taking some time to load. So that's why that is happening. But if we'll take a look at this, our test script got executed correctly. Now, this is, this may not be a very applicable scenario when you are doing your test automation, but this is frequently asked in interview. Uh, Check out the other, other videos on my channel and uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.